Hey everyone, CyberTutor here. When it comes to the internet, every device needs an address to communicate. That's where IP addresses come in, with IPv4 and IPv6 being the two main types. IPv4 was developed first, but with the huge growth of internet-connected devices, IPv6 came along to fill the gaps. Let's break down what each one is, how they're different, and why it matters for cybersecurity. Think of an IP address like a home address for your device. Just like a house needs an address for mail to be delivered, a device on a network needs an IP address to send and receive data. These addresses are assigned uniquely to each device, helping data find its way through a vast network. IP addresses come in two versions, IPv4 and IPv6, so let's get to know them. IPv4, or Internet Protocol version 4, is the original system developed to assign addresses. It uses 32-bit addresses, which means each IP address has four segments, each ranging from 0 to 255, like 192.168.1.1. With these four segments, IPv4 can provide about 4.3 billion unique addresses. It sounds like a lot, but with billions of devices now online, we've run out of IPv4 addresses. That's where IPv6 comes in. IPv6 uses 128-bit addresses instead of 32, giving us a massive pool of addresses, more than we'd likely ever need. An IPv6 address looks like this. 2001-0DB8-85A3-0000-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0
If you're finding our Network Fundamentals series helpful, make sure to watch our previous videos, like the one on the OSI model. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates on cybersecurity fundamentals. Stay informed, stay secure, and see you next time.